Hello, this is Rick Jordan from the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship of North Carolina, and I'm here with Linda Jones, who is also of the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship of North Carolina this week. But then she ends her ministry with us, and I thought we would all like to hear her uh, as we celebrate her ministry. So Linda, can you tell us a little bit about your journey? Tell us about your um, a summary of your ministry career. Well, I started out as a registered nurse in Ohio, went on a mission trip, two of them actually, one to Indonesia and then to Brazil, and it just lit a call to missions for me. My husband, Joseph, wasn't ready to go overseas, and we went up to Connecticut with a new church start, home mission board new church start, and it was in the middle of my 11 years there that I went to Southern Seminaries what they call their Boston campus, New England Baptist School of Ministry, Nebson in those days. And from there, um, I came down to Winter Park Baptist Church. I was a missions associate pastor there for nine and a half years and then came over to CBF North Carolina as missions coordinator. And I've been here a very short 13 years. It feels short, has gone by really fast, but I've loved my work here. Excellent. Yeah. And, and we've loved having you uh, here. And uh, just a little personal thing between Linda and me, we've had offices beside each other for all those years. And uh, so it's like brother and sister time here as well. Uh, yes. So, yeah. Linda, uh, tell us about, kind of summarize your ministry at CBF North Carolina. What's, what's been uh, taking or you've been giving energy to? Well, in the beginning, we gave a lot of energy to Missional Church, and we had those weekend um, ministry events. In fact, that first one, we planned for 200 up in Henderson and 600 came. And so out of that, we did that for a few years in various places, and um, the churches eventually said, we should be doing this in our own community. And we said, exactly, that's what we were trying to get you to. And now we consider CBF North Carolina, I mean, 99% of all our churches are doing community ministry. But I also in the early years worked with Belize in Ukraine, bringing teams um, to the Village of Hope and, um, and doing a lot of different kind of work in Belize. Um, that we've always been a part of New Church Starts. And, um, and now as CBF Global has gotten um, really good training for new church starts. We've come under um, their, their training but, and, um, and collaborate with them. But we were, we were doing it pretty strongly from the very beginning. Um, lately, I've been um, working with racial justice, racial reconciliation, and um, we've had our Latino network from the very beginning starting with Javier Benitez, and now uh, Santiago Reales is our director. But that's a strong min, uh, ministry. So um, I know I'm leaving something out, but um, between team meetings and missions council, it, it has just been such a tremendous joy to um, make deep friendships and to collaborate together and work as a team and in fact that's what I'm going to miss the most. I'm going to miss um, working together and collaborating together and those deep friendships that result from that. And mm -hmm. I've also loved my um, the staff here, a very collaborative uh, bunch and I wish them all the best in the future and I'm going to still be around so I hope that um, this isn't, uh, you know, a, a deep separation at all. Right, right. Well, let's segue from that into what are you going to be doing now? Well, I'm still um, planning on working with Kim and Mark Wyatt with Welcome Church, um, Welcome House, especially here in Winston-Salem. And um, I'm not ready to give up racial reconciliation and justice quite yet. Um, our, my local church, First on Fifth, is is starting work on that. And I have my, my cabbie business on the side. For those that know me well, I just wanted to get out in the business world and try something um, away from you know 
regular church. And so I'm still, I'm still working on that. It's, it's sales is hard <laughs> and being a secular business is hard, but it, it's been a good challenge. And of course, um, I have six grandsons, um, three and three with my son and daughter and their spouses. And so even this morning, two of them bopped in right as I was leaving for work at 830. And um, next week, I won't have to say goodbye. I could spend a little more time with them. Mm, so, that's great. Looking forward to that. Well, you've got a lot to look forward to. And you've still got a lot to offer in ministry. And I know that's your heart. And so it's not like you're saying goodbye to, to ministry as a whole. But, uh, but you are to this, to this role. Uh, and you won't be getting a paycheck regularly <laughs> from... Yes, woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Although if anybody's watching and wants to send a donation, I'm sure you would accept it. Uh, right. <laughs> I had a lot of people at the General Assembly ask, are you excited? And I, I really have to say it's a bit bittersweet. Um, I've always looked forward to a time when there would be a little less stress, but it's kind of funny to be stepping out as many pastors experience when they leave their pulpits after a long career. So looking forward to it though. Yeah. Well, you have served us well. We love you. And I'm glad you're staying in the state and in the area so we can still see you and, and uh, stay connected with you. Well, I hope so. I hope people know that um, they can still call me and uh, we just have to be a little more intentional. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. We celebrate you. you in your ministry. It's been a joy. It really has been.